All right, let's go over a uh, quiz review for section 5.2, 5.4, and 5.5. So these sections cover uh, definite and indefinite intervals uh, involving logs, uh, exponential functions, e to the x, a to the x, and uh, trig rules that involve logs. Okay, number one, uh, integral of dx over 2x plus 3. So uh, whenever we look at an indefinite uh, integral problem, uh, first thing that we want to try is can we um, rely solely on using power rule or expansion first. Uh, so, but in this case um, we have nothing to expand so um, and we can't split this up into individual fractions so we have to look at u substitution. So um, our u value uh, we can try via denominator letting the denominator be the u value. So let u value be uh, 2x plus 3. Uh, find the derivative with respect to x, so d over dx is equal to 2. Uh, 2x turns to 2, 3 goes to 0. Solve for dx, we get dx equals du over 2. Okay. We make our substitution. Um, the denominator gets replaced with u. dx gets replaced with du over 2. And if we pull the 2 out as a coefficient, we have 1 half times the uh, indefinite integral of 1 over u du. So once we make the u substitution, um, the next thing that we have to consider is do we have a rule with what is left in terms of u? Um, so we know that all the x's have to cancel out, um, but just because we have our uh, definite inter indefinite integral in terms of uh, uh, in terms of u, doesn't mean that we have a rule necessarily that is going to apply. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. In this case, uh, integral of 1 over u, uh, this integrand, we do have a rule for, and the rule is natural log of absolute value of u plus c. So that's exactly what we do. Uh, the 1 half is a coefficient, so we pull that out. Now we leave that in front. And the u value has to be replaced back in terms of the original variable this case 2x plus 3. All right, number two, uh, we look to see if we can expand. We can't expand. Uh, we can't uh, use power rule to, uh, to even if we could expand, we won't be able to use power rule. So um, let's consider the u value to be the denominator. Okay? We want to think ahead. We want the u value to be, if we're talking about um, polynomials, we want the u value to be one degree higher uh, than the remaining x's that we see. So that's the case here. The x squared, if we think ahead, our derivative um, will turn to x to the first power, and that will cancel out, uh, eventually cancel out that x that we see up there. Okay, so let our u value be 4x squared plus 1. Derivative is 8x. Solve for dx, we get du over 8x. We go ahead and we make our substitutions. Our denominator gets replaced with u. Uh, dx gets replaced with du over 8x. Um, the x in the numerator stays initially, but we see that uh, the x's will cancel out. Uh, so we're left with uh, integral of 1 over u, du over 8. So we can pull the 8 out as a coefficient, 1 8 times the integral of 1 over u. Again, we have a rule for this integrand, 1 over u, so we just apply the rule, 1 eighth natural log of the absolute value of u plus c, and then u gets replaced back in terms of x. All right, number three, um, this is why we want to check to see if we can expand using power rule first, uh, because if we didn't, then uh, we would be stuck trying to go through u substitution and in this case, u substitution, uh, substitution in this initial step is going to uh, fail. Uh, so we look to see uh, that we can expand. We only have one value in the denominator, so we can split this up into individual fractions. So I'm going to rewrite it as 2x over x minus 5 over x dx. Simplify. So the x's cancel out for the first fraction, so we're left with integral of 2 minus 5 over x dx. Now anytime we have terms separated by plus or minus and with no um, parentheses, we can treat each term like a separate problem. 
So this 2, we can just apply using power rule. Um, we know 2 will turn into 2x. And this 5 over x, we can simply uh, use our um, natural log rule. The integral of 1 over u, 1 over u uh, du is equal to natural log of u. So that 5 is just a coefficient, so we pull the 5 out. And we just have natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. So we combine these two terms together, and we have our indefinite integral, number 3. All right, let's look at number four. So with number four, um, we look to expand using power rule. We can't. So we look at um, use substitution. The denominator um, would be our first guess uh, as the u value. It's more complex between the numerator and denominator. Now, if we think ahead, we see that even after we find the derivative, we're not going to be able to cancel out with this x in the numerator because this degree is not high enough. Um, but we may be able to continue with the problem uh, if we look at other methods such as change of variable. So let's start off, u value being x plus 1. Our derivative, du over dx is equal to 1. Solve for dx, we get dx equals du. We make our initial set of substitution. Denominator gets replaced, x plus 1 gets replaced with u. dx gets replaced with du. But um, as we uh, talked a little bit about um, uh, looking at what problem we're going to run into, this x in the numerator is not going to cancel out. So in order to continue uh, with a problem, we have to find a way to replace that x in terms of u. So we look to change a variable. So we know that uh, our assigned value for u is x plus 1. So if we rearrange this, we can solve for x and let x equal to u minus 1. Okay, and that's exactly what we can plug in, replace x with u minus 1. So now we have the indefinite integral of u minus 1 over u du. Next step, can we expand and simplify? So we have uh, one term in the denominator. We can split up into individual fractions. So we have integral of u over u minus 1 over u. And u over u will simply reduce to be, um, cancel out to be just 1. So we have two terms that we can apply integral rules separately for, since they're separated by plus or minus, in this case the minus. So integral of 1, everything's in terms of u, so 1 will turn into u. And then we know the rule for integral of 1 over u is simply natural log of u. Okay, So we have our, um, uh, we found our antiderivative. And then next step is to replace our u value back in terms of x. So u gets replaced with x plus 1. And um, this natural log of u uh, should also get replaced with x plus 1. So we should have x plus 1 minus natural log of the absolute value of x plus 1 plus c. Okay. And what I did up here was uh, this is a constant, so this constant could merge with this c here. So um, we can rewrite our answer as x minus natural log of the absolute value of x plus 1 plus c, or c sub 1 or c sub 2 to represent uh, that it's a different constant. Okay, number 5, uh, we have the indefinite integral of uh, natural log of x quantity squared times dx over x. So this is a bit of um, just being able to see a lot of different types of problems and be able to um, make a guess as to what our u value could be. And also, to think ahead, what, um, what could be a u value that will cancel out with the remaining x and leave us with, um, with u values that is oriented in a way where a rule exists for um, uh, for that uh, uh, for the problem in terms of u, so we're going to let the uh, u value uh, be the natural log of x. Okay? Normally, if we see a complex fraction, a complex term, uh, we can uh, inside a set of parentheses. Um, you, uh, a lot of times, the u value is what's inside that parentheses. So we let the u value be equal to natural log of x. And if we think back, our derivative for natural log of x is simply 1 over x. Remember, the derivative for ln of u is simply u prime over u. So u prime for x would be 1, so 1 over x. Uh, we solve for dx, cross multiply. We get dx equals x du. Okay, we make our initial 
um, step of uh, substitution, the parentheses in uh, the natural log of x gets replaced with u, and we have u squared. The dx gets replaced with x du, and this x in the denominator will stay, uh, and we see that they uh, will cancel out. This x will cancel out with a numerator's x, so we're left with the integral of u squared du. Okay, so let's think, do we have a rule for u squared, integral of u squared? Uh, and we do with the power rule. So we can apply the power rule here. So u squared becomes u cubed over 3 plus c, and then replace your u value back in terms of x. So 1 third uh, nat uh, natural log of x cubed plus c. Or you can write it as quantity natural log of x cubed over 3 plus c. All right, number six. Um, we have a couple of different options for u value. Maybe the u value is just the square root of x. Maybe the u value is just as 1 plus root x. Or maybe if we distribute through, um, uh, then we can let the entire denominator be the u value. But uh, we want the u value um, to, be, um, uh, to be represented by something where our derivative will eventually cancel out uh, the remaining x. So we can't let the entire denominator be the, the, uh, the u value because then we're going to be left um, with um, a derivative in terms of x that will not cancel out with anything else. Okay, so uh, we're going to let uh, the u value be 1 plus root x, see what that gets us. So 1 plus root x, I'm going to rewrite it as 1 plus x to the 1 half. Let's look, let's look into our derivative rules. 1 is a constant, goes to 0. x to the 1 half, we can apply power rule, so bring the 1 half down. Subtract 1 from the exponent, so 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. I'm going to rewrite it using uh, radicals and uh, get rid of the negative exponent. So I'm left with 1 over 2 root x equals du over dx. I cross multiply. dx equals 2 root x du. Okay, I make my substitution. Uh, so I get uh, dx gets replaced with 2 root x du. This root x doesn't go away initially, so I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, but what's inside the parentheses gets replaced with u. Now we see that conveniently the square root of x will cancel out. So we can pull the 2 in front leaving us with integral of 2 um, times 1 over u du. And let's think, do we have a rule for this integrand 1 over u? We do, so we're going to um, uh, pl apply the natural log rule. So 2 times natural log of absolute value of u plus c, and then u gets replaced um, in terms of x. Okay. Next video, I'll finish up with the rest of this worksheet.